Would you believe that it's important for the, the, to follow the facts? Uh, we believe that no one is above the law, including the President of the United States, and we believe that the President of the United States is engaged in a cover-up, in a cover-up, and that was the nature did, of the media. Are you able to do that successful media on the position of some of your members on impeachment or contempt Those are quite is strong that, is words coming out of what we understand was a divisive... Oh. We're just exchanging information and, and points of view. Really, we have this important meeting with the president. I think Can you still have that meeting, though, with all of this happening? All right, Nancy Pelosi only taking one question there, and there are a lot of reporters who want to ask a lot of mm -hmm. questions there, including Armanu Raju, who is on Capitol Hill with us. This is as she was coming out of that meeting with her caucus. Here's what struck me. Quote, a respectful sharing of ideas, she says, and impressive presentations by the chairs of the committees. Um, she's the one who's got to unite them. Yeah, that's right. And that last comment there saying that we believe the president of the United States is mm -hmm. engaged in a cover up. That is a comment that Pelosi has been saying in private that they, she wants for that to be, to be the message of her Democratic caucus about what to, about how to talk about what exactly is happening here. But that is uh, obviously short of what some of her members want, which is to go forward with an impeachment inquiry. Now, I'm told in this meeting that it's about is breaking up now about an hour long. The the chairman laid out their their details of the of what exactly they are doing. The letters they have sent. Uh, Elijah Cummings, one uh, said that we are winning on our current course of action, including pointing to a court case from Monday that led to Trump financial uh, accounting firm to be ordered by a court to turn over financial records. Uh, and those that's the way that this essentially went. These chairmen laid out their current course of investigation, but stopping short of impeachment, including House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler, who was angry at the stonewalling by this administration, but did not call for an impeachment inquiry himself. I'm also told that Jerry Nadler said that he wants Bob Mueller to testify in public. Uh, this after we're hearing that the special counsel wants to go in private. That is another thing that he weighed in on and had declined to weigh on yesterday. This is according to multiple yeah. attendees. But nevertheless, Pelosi is essentially getting what she wants here, guys, saying that we need to continue the current course. I'm hearing more members than not supported her on that. And that's what she just said to moments ago to reporters. The president is engaged in a cover-up, but yeah. yet these are the things that we're doing, but not calling for impeachment. So, so to be clear, she, she, she's using public language here, accusing the president of the United States of covering up apparent or alleged crimes here. But, but, but you're saying she did not grant ground on how to respond to that by saying, OK, yeah, an impeachment inquiry is necessary. Correct. She said that we need to continue the current course of action, which is uh, investigations, which is court fights, which would lead to more subpoenas, mm -hmm. which would lead to mm -hmm. uh, this ratcheting up of tension between the two branches of government, but stopping mm -hmm. short of impeachment. That's what's the message that she has had all along. And clearly, she believes that her caucus, for the most part, is on her side, guys. Yeah. Right. So let me just, Manu, just to remind people who may not have heard it in her comments, it was the end that's the most critical, as you rightly noted. Quote, we believe the president of the United States is engaged in a cover-up. And the fact that she has been saying that privately, that's your reporting, but decided this morning after this contentious meeting with members of her caucus to say that publicly, how big is that? Well, that's the message that she wants the part that can unite her caucus. This is a, a decision for by her to realize that there's, there's just it's so much growing frustration within her party about the lack of information coming from this administration, despite the subpoenas and believing that by talking very strongly, by making these rather uh, stark remarks, accusing the president of the United States for engaging in a, in a cover up. She believes that's something that could get her party on the, on the same side. They all essentially agree to that. But what they don't agree with about unanimously is how to uh, in, to assert their concerns, whether it's just going through the investigative route, whether it's actually launching an impeachment inquiry. So this kind of language is something that virtually all Democrats agree with, which is why she's saying what she's saying. Uh, but when you drill down, that's when you get start to get into the divisions within the caucus. But at the moment, I think she believes this went well. The Democrats who support her believe mm -hmm. this went well and that she's kept those detractors at bay at the moment, guys.
Okay. Important reporting, Manu. Thank you for being there as always. All right. We're joined now by the former federal prosecutor as well as CNN legal analyst Jennifer Rogers. Uh, President of the United States engaged in a cover up. Uh, it's hard not to, to recall Nixon here, right? At least in terms of the way you now have the most powerful Democrat in the land uh, discussing this yeah. issue. Yeah, there's so many parallels to Nixon, obviously, and we had so many uh, pieces of evidence of a cover-up in the Mueller report itself when you look at the evidence of the obstruction on that. And now we have, I don't know if it's a, a cover-up or, or hiding. I mean, they're just hiding information. There's no question that Dems are having a terrible time getting the fruits of the Mueller report and other information that they need to do their oversight role. Her argument about a cover-up is clearly, you know, by stonewalling, by, by mm -hmm. leaving empty chairs at hearings for the Attorney General and former White House Counsel Don McGahn. By refusing to turn over subpoena documents time after time after time, for refusing to turn over the president's financial records and and and, and tax returns, that she is saying amounts to a cover-up. The third article of impeachment against President Nixon was so similar in terms of the refusal of the president, 1974, to turn over those documents. Yeah, there's no question that these are impeachable offenses, that high crimes and misdemeanors, uh, that standard is met here. I mean, it's much lower than the criminal law standard. So, you know, they can do it. The question is, politically, do they want to do it? But legally, it's a really clear Because case. it's not a legal decision. It's a, it's a political. Right. It's a political maneuver. And there's evidence that, that Robert Mueller's intention was to, to leave it to, to Congress. In effect, this was a roadmap. You make the decision, because ultimately it's a political decision here. But I want to ask you a question, because this is something that is frequently brought up by the president's defenders. You can't have obstruction without an underlying crime. Right. So, so, so more definitively, the special counsel uh, says no hard evidence of collusion, conspiracy, et cetera. But then even Justin Amash, of course, a Republican lawmaker, said, in actuality, the law does not require an underlying crime. I explain the law for obstruction of justice. So obstruction of justice is, is interfering with an investigation. So an, there has to be an investigation into a crime of some sort. But that investigation doesn't have to result in the charging of a crime. So Martha Stewart, for example, was charged mm -hmm. with obstruction right. of justice, was not charged with the underlying crime of insider training. And when you think about it, it makes right. sense. She went to jail because she obstructed justice. She did. Yeah. And it makes sense because if you successfully obstruct an investigation, you can't prosecute the you crime. can't prosecute that underlying right. crime. So, of course, legally, there needs to There's be a no legal underlying chicken egg crime. thing going on there. Listen, we have Sarah Westwood at the White House here. Sarah, the, the president has just been accused by the sitting Speaker of the House of a cover-up here. Any reaction from the White House yet? Well, Jim, President Trump has been tweeting a half dozen times this morning about the Russia investigation. He's been arguing that House Democrats are simply reinvestigating what special counsel Robert Mueller already looked into. And he knows that pressure is growing on Speaker Nancy Pelosi to initiate those impeachment proceedings. He knows that there's a wing of the Democratic caucus that wants to move forward on that. And he is clearly frustrated that they are still requesting things from his administration. His argument all along has been that his White House cooperated with Mueller, and so they don't need to cooperate with the House oversight uh, activities in this regard. And now this is setting up the president for a potentially awkward situation later today in just about an hour from now. Speaker Pelosi and other congressional Democrats are due at the White House to talk about infrastructure, something that should theoretically be bipartisan. But because the White House is stonewalling requests for documents, for testimony on just about every front, tensions are rising between the White House and Congress and a compromise even on something that people want as much as infrastructure does look difficult with that backdrop. Now, in the last meeting, they agreed on a $2 trillion price tag. Today, they're supposed to talk about ways to actually fund that $2 trillion plan. Uh, but some of the Trump administration's ideas, like leveraging public-private partnerships, those are not particularly popular with Democrats. And because Speaker Pelosi, again, just an hour before she's supposed to face the president, accused him of engaging in a cover-up, this could definitely become yeah. a very <laughs> tense meeting, Jim.